you know, most comedians come up on stage, they're worried that maybe they're going to get heckled, somebody's going to boo them. I'm afraid I'm going to get shot with a taser, hit with a beanbag round, somebody's going to launch a projectile up at the stage. So take it easy on me. I am with the New York State Park Police, been with the Park Police for 22 years. I'm also a member of our Tactical Response Unit. I know what you're thinking, what do the state parks need a police department for, much less a Tactical Response Unit? I'll tell you, first time you find yourself in a state park and you have a rabid squirrel run up your pants leg and go after your nuts, you'll be glad I'm there. Yes. That's what I deal with every day. We're a very small team. We're kind of a secretive unit. I don't even think my chief knows about us. We don't get a lot of funding. We don't get a lot of, to purchase a lot of equipment. We kind of have to make do. We don't have a lot of fancy things. We don't have diversionary devices. We can't afford flashbangs. What we have is one of those old-fashioned battery-powered bullhorns. When my team has to make an entry, before they go in, I turn up the volume all the way, wait until they're ready to go, and I yell, surprise! The suspect usually stops for a minute. We hear a lot of, shit, it's not my birthday. <laughs> By the time he thinks about what's going on, he's already on the floor in handcuffs. <laughs> You're allowed to laugh, it's okay. Thank you. My chief is not the brightest guy in the world. We've asked him for a lot of different equipment. We try to explain things, things to him. He doesn't really understand what we're talking about. I tried to get him to purchase us a tactical robot. I'm trying to explain this mechanical device that climbs stairs. We can use, put a camera on it so we can see in the building. He listens to me, hears me out. A couple of weeks later, he calls me into his office. He gives me a slinky. <laughs> Goes downstairs. As police officers, a lot of the people that we deal with every day have a lot in common with slinkies. They serve no practical purpose whatsoever, but it brings a smile on our face to push them down a flight of stairs. Yes. I was talking to my chief about some other equipment, trying to explain some things that we need. And again, he's not the brightest guy in the world. I'm talking to him about Panasonic tough book, laptop computers that we can take out in the field, use to draw diagrams of buildings and things, put some input in there. He bought me an Etch-a-Sketch. <laughs> and it's used so you can't erase the damn thing. Our call-outs consist of me asking the team, team leader to team one, is everything okay? You're ready to move? Uh, negative, I'm drawing a bunny on the Etch-a-Sketch and I can't erase the damn thing. <laughs> It's not easy being a park cop, it really isn't. We're kind of like the Rodney Dangerfield of police departments. We don't get any respect. We're used to it though. I was working last night, I'm very tired because I had a late night last night, I had to work. We had a commercial burglary. A couple of guys broke into a warehouse, stole a couple of cases of Viagra. I was up all night looking for two hardened criminals. Uh... I pull over a car, suspected Dewey, on my way back from the burglary. I get up to the car, the guy reeks of alcohol. I tell him, listen, sir, I'm going to need you to blow into this instrument. i got to take a breath sample from you. Guy says to me, I'm sorry, officer, I can't blow into that. I said, what do you mean you can't blow into that? He says, I have severe asthma. If I blow into that, I might pass out. I, I can't give you a breath sample. So I said, okay, no problem, pal. I'm going to take you down to the station. We're going to draw your blood. He says, well, I'm sorry, officer. I'm a hemophiliac. You can't put a needle in me. I can't stop bleeding. I can't give you a blood sample. So I said, all right, pal, no problem. I'm going to take you in. We're going to get a urine sample. Guy says, I'm sorry, officer. I can't give you a urine sample. You see, I'm diabetic. If I piss right now, I'll probably pass out. I'm starting to lose my patience with this guy. So I finally tell him, all right, come on out of the car. I got one last simple test for you. You see that straight line, that yellow line? You're going to walk nine steps forward, heel to toe, turn around, walk nine steps back. He looks at me and says, I'm sorry, officer, I can't do that test. 
Now I lose it. I say, what? What now? Why can't you do this simple, stinking test? What's your excuse now? He looks me right in the eye and says, I'm too fucking drunk. 